Welcome to Ponderize, the channel where we help you improve your study of conference talks. Today we will go over study questions for a talk by Elder Bednar, but we heeded them not. I invite you to grab something to take notes with and answer these questions as we go. Feel free to pause as needed. These questions will be perfect for your personal study, but you might also want to discuss them with your friends, family, or at your next Relief Study lesson or quorum meeting. Now, let's get into it. Question number one. Elder Bednar tells us that he enjoys singing hymns despite not being perfect at it. Why is it important to heed not or ignore the imperfections that might stop us from doing good? Right. Moving on to question number two. What is the difference between clinging to and holding fast the rod of iron? Okay, for the next part. Will holding fast be more effective at helping us heed not the temptations and negativity of the world? And why? All right, question number three. Lehi didn't give heed to the people in the spacious building in his dream. Can you think of a time when you just said no to the world? And what good things came from doing that? You might also think what do you need to say no to the world today in your life? What's what's in your life now that you could say no to? All right, I know the Lord will help you to do that. Let's move on to question number four. Question number four. Elder Bednar invites us to consider how we can be strengthened to heed not the evil influences. How do you protect your family from the influence of the world? You might consider all the sources of the world that your family runs into, either at work, at school, through the internet, social media, TV. How do you prepare them to, uh, to face those challenges? All right, moving on. To question number five. The word heed suggests taking notice of or paying attention to someone or something. Now, knowing that, how does this definition of heed impact your understanding of the phrase heed not? You might think, well, it must mean that when you heed not, you're you're not taking notice of, of bad things or you're not paying attention to, to bad things. All right, what does that look like in your life? What could you stop taking notice of or, or stop giving your attention to? How do you spend your time? And how could you improve that? All right, let's move on. Question number six. 
As we act in accordance with the truths of his gospel, we are blessed with the spiritual capacity to press forward through the challenges of mortality while focusing on the joy the Savior offers. This is something that Elder Bednar said. The question is, why does faith in Christ help us overcome challenges with joy? I think when we're faced with difficult choices and experiences and trials in our life, we can either choose to get angry and frustrated with Heavenly Father and with the situation, or we have faith that we can see further, we can get rid of that myopic view, that nearsightedness, and see the eternal perspective. That really helps us to have joy, and it's, I mean, it's difficult to do, but it's something I, I think. Um, and what have you experienced with this? You know, when have you overcome challenge, challenges with joy? When have you had to do that? How did faith in Christ help you? All right, question number seven. Elder Bednar says, living and loving covenant commitments creates a connection with the Lord that is deeply personal and spiritually powerful. We experience the impact of his divinity and living reality in our lives. What does this statement teach you about covenants? I think it, for me, it kind of teaches me that you get what you put into it. That's what you get out of it. You know, if you really live and love your covenants, you're going to be blessed with a connection with the Lord that is deeply personal, spiritually powerful, and then get to experience the impact of his divinity and know that he really lives. And so I think it can be motivating to read that quote and realize that our covenants are really kind of that, that path and that, that compass, right, to, to help us experience that. All right. Question number eight. What helps you to heed not the worldly influences, mocking, and scorn? Okay, question number nine. Elder Bednar compares covenants and ordinances to a compass. What does this analogy teach you? You might consider what's the purpose of a compass? Well, you know takes you somewhere it shows you, you know, where north is and helps you get places you know how does that relate to covenants where do covenants lead you what do covenants help you um, get through a forest the forest of life well, there's a lot of things you can learn from this analogy all right question number 10 Elder Bednar says, holding fast to the word of God entails remembering, honoring, and strengthening our covenant connection to Christ. What does it look like to remember, honor, and strengthen your covenant connection to Christ? One in particular that we might not think about a lot is honoring. You know, we remember to 
We need to remember our covenants. We need to strengthen them and read our scriptures, do those good things. But to honor our covenants, you know, how do we feel about them? How do we really feel about going to church and and going to the temple and doing those things? How important it is to us? Is it to us? All right, let's move on. Question, question number eleven: Holding fast to the word of God entails prayerfully, earnestly, and consistently using the scriptures. What does it look like to prayerfully, earnestly, and consistently use the scriptures? All right, I think that is a great question. I hope you were able to ponder that. Think about how you can improve in those areas of being more prayerful, more earnest and more consistent and, and try to see yourself doing that. I know you can do it and we can all improve. I know it can be hard, but I know you can do it. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were able to, to learn a lot from it and hope it was able to Bless your family, your, your class, your personal life. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully you'll be able to start getting more positive things in your YouTube news feed and be able to see more good things than, than bad things there. All right. Have a good one. Thanks.